Malcolm Marshall is, I think, my best fast bowler of all time. All cricket lovers, when they ask me who's the best ever and the complete bowler you've ever seen, one name comes up straight away, Malcolm Marshall. Malcolm Marshall shouldn't really have been a, a, a world-class fast bowler. I think he was only about five foot ten, so short, most fast bowlers are tall. But he had whippet-like pace. And Malcolm Marshall was able to adapt to any condition. And that's gone, I think we'll play a touch on that. He didn't have to wait very long for that umpire's finger to go up. No question at all. Could see and hear that. So Chapel goes. I saw Malcolm bowl on good flat pitches with pace where he could bowl as quickly as anyone. He could swing the ball at pace, and let me tell you, that is one of the most fearsome things of all. He might be able to knock your head off as well, but if you've got someone who in between knocking your head off, or trying to, is then swinging the ball onto a length uh, either way, that is supreme skill. He was a man for all conditions. He could look at pretty much any opponent, work them out, decide what was the best way to try and set a field for them, the best way to try and get them out. And his record shows you he was very, very effective at getting people out. And he's going all over the place. Good delivery there. Wood goes, feet by a little bit of pace, slight bit of movement. Unplayable at times, and, and in, particularly in England, where he was also a stalwart for Hampshire in county cricket and dominated county cricket for, for a number of years. He played some useful knocks down the order for West Indies. At Headingley, we thought we'd done the right thing about Malcolm. We'd broken one of his hands, uh, unfortunately, the wrong one. He could still take five wickets, but he also got runs batting with one hand. Just a fantastic all round fast bowler. Bowled him. Mother Marshall the bowler. Taken far too early in his life, but he was a, a real great and also um, uh, considered a, a great man as well. He got wickets in county cricket, in West Indies, in England, in Australia, and on subcontinent wickets. He was unplayable. For me, the best ever fast bowler. You look at what Malcolm did, and the way he bowled, and the way he adapted to conditions, then I think he was pretty much the most complete fast bowler of all time. <laughs>